beautiful people, welcome back. I can't tell you guys how good it is um, to sit down and talk to you guys and film a video. Uh, as you guys know, if you don't know, just a brief recap, I have been off, which you can, you can even see my little scooter right here, you know, sitting off to the sidelines. Just for those of you that might have missed it between Instagram and here, a brief recap. Um, I did fall down. <laughs> I fell down a set of bleachers last Saturday or uh, about a week, a week and a couple of days ago as of when you guys are watching this. And uh, in doing so, it made it really difficult for me to film. This setup is definitely, definitely not designed for that. So I had to take a couple of days off just to let the swelling go down. And they actually told me with this particular injury that uh, it looks so bad that it's going to take longer to heal than a normal, you know, ankle or foot break. So I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely in for quite the recovery. Like I said, that's just a really brief run through just for anybody that didn't know. Maybe, you know, you're not familiar with it. You don't have other socials. Um, that, that's what's been going on. Again, I keep everybody up to date on everything over on Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, I definitely recommend it. Um, but as of right now, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know, I'm, I'm definitely still sore. My whole body hurts because I, I did fall quite a ways. Um, but I, I just feel really fortunate. I feel good. And like I said, it just feels so freaking nice to sit down and film to have any little bit of normalcy feels amazing right now. Because the one thing nobody ever thinks about, myself included, is that when you hurt yourself, especially with an injury like this, where it's, you know, it's, it's, it's your foot, it's kind of what you need to like stand and walk around and do things. Um, which also for me, it happens to be my right foot, which is also my driving foot. Um, well, it's, it's everybody's driving foot, but you know what I mean? I, I don't have like any freedom to go and do anything on my own. And you never really stop and think like how much one, like one, one boo-boo, okay, one, one little situation here, um, how much it really does affect your whole life and affect what you're able to do. For me, it's, it's kind of twofold because I definitely, like you guys know this, I'm, I'm more of like a go, go, go kind of person. I'm very um, task oriented. I like to do this, this, and this. I set myself up. I like to, you know, just, I like to just execute things every single day. I have a list of what I like to do and I, I tend to be very independent. And so something like this happens and not only does it, it force you by, by, by a long shot to slow down, but it also makes me stop and think um, just about how actually, like how lucky I am, how blessed I am because, you know, this whole, this happens to me and obviously it uproots everything. I can't hardly do anything for myself. I can't, I can't even go check the damn mail by myself. Like I, I just, I, I'm not able to accomplish the tasks I normally would, but then it also has really helped me to shift my focus, you know, for the umpteenth time and remember that I am so blessed and I have the best parents and I have the best like people in my life for, for, for being who I am and for the, 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 the life I live, I truly couldn't have a better support system and a better, you know, mother, a better father. Speaking of which, by the way, I have the best freaking support system online. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, thank you to everyone that has sent me all of the sweet, the prayers, the, the love, the healing, the good vibes, the, the DMs, the comments, just so many of you that have continued to throw like love and support and care my way and just for being there for me, for waiting for me to come back. And um, I, I just, yeah, I'm, just, I'm really excited. Okay, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for today's video, um, which by the way, I haven't even mentioned not once because I'm, I'm me. Actually gonna be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, I went on Beautylish, this was middle of last week sometime, and I noticed that there were a couple of new launches that I wanted to check out, a couple of things I just wanted to, you know, investigate, really get my little fingers on. Did I just say investigate? <laughs> I, want, I wanted to investigate gate them, okay? That's that's a new thing. Coin that, check mark mine. Anyways, there were a couple of things I wanted to look at, so I went on their website and I made a little purchase. I think there's like maybe five or six new things in here. We have um, both of the new highlights. There's one from Charlotte Tilbury, one from Natasha Denona. There is the um, Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick, which I thought looked really beautiful. And there is the uh, Sicily. This is their new foundation. Actually, by the way, very expensive. I think it was like $95. <coughs> Still dying inside. Um, but this is their new photo, Fido, photo, I don't know, uh, tint, oil-free, long-lasting foundation. I figured I would pick this up. Um, even though it was super expensive, I've just never tried anything from Sicily. And well, probably because it's all like over $100 and makes me, you know, need to cut out a kidney and sell it to pay for it. But uh, I figured, you know, today would be kind of a special occasion. It's kind of me coming back on the internet. I, I would kind of treat myself, treat both of us, you know, I'll investigate it, spend my own money, see if it's any good. But anyways, that is the scope of today's video. If you are into that, you want to see it, you're interested in any of it, um, definitely stay tuned. We're going to hop in in just a second. But before I do that, per usual, I like to pause at the start of my videos and I do like to introduce myself just for anybody that might be new here. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they usually go up right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So we have bright early morning uploads. And then of course, for any of you that haven't heard me talk about it in the last week, hello, it's, it's time. Um, let's discuss the fact that I'm still trying 
to hit my goal of 10,000 followers over on Instagram. So I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and go follow me over there. Not only is Instagram the place to be if you want to, you know, hang out with me during the day, if you're interested in kind of my life behind the scenes, I love to do unboxings, I hang out in my Insta stories, and it's really just the place where you guys get to live life with me. And then in addition to that, over there, as far as actual content, I have really been up in my game on Instagram, um, just to really work on a little bit of everything. I do plus size fashion, I do more makeup inspo photos, um, makeup IGTVs, application, reviews, I do reels, I do, I do a little bit of everything. But anyways, oh my god, you guys, I talk so much. Can, can you tell I haven't filmed a video in a while? Wow. Um, I, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm actually gonna just, you know, shut the hell up, and I'm going to um, adjust the camera, maybe I'll scooch myself in, and we're gonna get started. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and I scooched in a little closer to the camera, that way I, I'm a little closer, but I also can still keep my foot nice and, and stationary where it needs to be. Um, and I was just getting into the box right here of the, the stuff that I have for today, and I noticed that they included a, um, a little sample here of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and this is the original Magic Cream, the one that I think is supposed to be like dewy. Yes, this richly hydrating cream instantly floods skin with moisture for a plump glowing complexion all day long. Normally this isn't something um, I would play around with before I go in with a foundation, uh, especially one I've never used before because I know that this is like, look at that, it's super duper hydrating on the skin. But I figured today it wouldn't be a problem because I'm not doing like a super long wear test on the foundation anyways. This is more just to test it out um, and get like a first impression. Also, my skin like right over my cheeks right here was actually feeling a little dry. Then just through the T-zone, I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas and uh, take and just kind of press that in. This is what I normally use right through the T-zone anyways, just to help kind of smooth things out, give me a little bit more of a poreless base. You know what, guys? Something else I want to mention, since how it is in the order. Um, this is from Good Molecules. This is their Instant Cleansing Balm. And I want to mention this because, for, well, first of all, if you've never heard me talk about it, this is one of my all-time favorite um, cleansing balms that I've ever used. It's very inexpensive. I think it's like $12, $15, right in that range. And a little bit of this goes such a long way. It's super good, very effective, feels amazing on the skin. Uh, just really everything that you could ask for in a cleansing balm, this is 100%. All right, so now we can finally go ahead and get into the foundation. We have the Sicily Paris Phyto Tint Foundation. I don't, don't think I'm saying that correctly, but that's what it is. It has a cute little zebra packaging lid right here, and I believe this retails for $95. Let's go ahead and uh, double check that really quickly here. Yes, it does in fact retail for $95. Um, I'm just currently on the Beautylish website, of course. And then as far as information, I'm going between the description box and the back of the box, and it says that this is for an ultra ultra luminous complexion and a radiance that lasts all day. It moisturizes, protects from environmental damage, and boosts the natural radiance of the complexion day after day. So it has, you know, ongoing effects. Um, a fluid texture that will blend into the skin, giving a very natural, velvety finished, long-lasting, medium buildable coverage. I think all of that is interesting because over on the website, which obviously was what I was reading when I bought it, it says that your skin texture is going to be blurred and the skin will be mattified and its radiance is revealed. So over here, it doesn't necessarily talk so much about um, it being like super luminous and like radiant on the skin. It just talks about how over time it's supposed to improve your skin. And don't get me wrong, obviously I'm still going to test it, see how it looks on my skin. Doesn't make me super luminous, this, that, the other. But I just thought it was interesting that on the website, it didn't really say all of the same stuff that it said on the back of the box. So just, just something to note. Um, but let's go ahead and I think I'm going to test this out like I normally would just to start off with a sponge. Basically, I went ahead, I took the lid off. It does have a little pump right here. And I grabbed this, which I don't think I said yet, but I grabbed this in the shade two, which, oh boy, that, that looks like it's uh, a little bit dark. Um, yeah, oh yeah, it's dark. I can make it work. It's not. I can I can make it work for sure. All right, so I just went in and added a little bit more foundation just to get it blended in, blend it down the neck a little. And I do think in terms of coverage, you are looking at more of a light, buildable. Uh, I would say it's going to like a light medium. It's definitely not going to take you to a, to a really solid medium, but definitely more of a light to light medium kind of effect. And it's sitting beautiful on the skin, like right through here. It looks really, really nice. It's really pressing into my pores. It looks, truly it looks flawless. My, my skin looks so smooth and even. With that being said, I am going to do the other side with a brush. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles L11, and I'm going to take this and try applying it uh, just with a brush for coverage and see if it makes a difference with application or not. Just get it nice and smoothed on. Wow, this color. 
<laughs> oh my god. I would, the, the best part is that when I first applied it, it didn't look that bad. And now as I go in and add it all over, I'm like, Ugh. things are definitely getting a little bit orange in here, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, so I'm very impressed so far using this with a brush because normally when I'm playing around with uh, um, a foundation that has a really watery or a thin consistency, normally it makes my skin uh, very streaky, like the application just doesn't look good. And this actually looks very, very nice. Like it has a beautiful feeling on the skin. In terms of coverage, I do feel like I was able to get more coverage with a brush, but I also don't think that that's surprising given that, you know, the, the sponge absorbs product and the brush, you know, doesn't, doesn't absorb nearly as much. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna go in with a couple of other products. Obviously right now I am doing concealer and this is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in shade two. And they just sent me this one in PR last week, thank God, because I was almost out. And I have been using my, the one that I purchased a long time ago, I've been using that concealer so much lately. And uh, this shade, shade two, matches really beautifully with this foundation. Like, look at that blend. Oh, that looks so nice. I like that a lot. Also, for anybody else that deals with watery eyes, you are not alone. This is my emergency toilet paper. Sometimes a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, and I just have to keep a big old roll of toilet paper, so. Just keep doing you, girl. Just keep doing you. Blot those eyes. Keep moving, okay? All right, now, before I go in with any powder or anything, I do want to go in with this other new thing that I picked up from Beautylish, and this is from the brand RMS Beauty, and this is their Buriti Bronzer, and it retails for $28. It currently has five out of five stars with 10 reviews, and it says in the description here that this is a natural cream-based bronzer without the drying effect of a traditional powder bronzer, that this shade is perfect for creating a beautiful glowing sun subtle bronze sheen, and it says offering concentrated color, it blends effortlessly, containing Brazilian burrito oil. <laughs> Did anybody else just call it, get to be called that <laughs> Brazilian burrito? <laughs> I'm dead. Brazilian, bur <laughs> Brazilian burrito oil. I bet you didn't know that that was in your bronzer. <laughs> Okay, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted, to, I just wanted to really make sure everybody caught that. Um, I really, I, I hear that the, the Brazilian burrito oil. <laughs> I hear it really is, is great for the skin. One of the richest sources of beta carotene, this bronzer is full of antioxidants and vitamin A, giving it the ability to help diminish fine lines and wrinkles. Ooh, ooh fine lines and wrinkles, yes please. I figured we would go in with this. Why did I expect it? Did anybody else expect that to be bigger? I don't know, I've never seen, I feel like I've never seen a bronzer that's this big. Also, my God, I just turned yellow, didn't I? Like right before my very eyes. I'm sitting here filming. And I think I just turned yellow and or orange. Are you kidding me? All right, so I did have to go ahead and zoom the camera out just to hopefully fix the white balance situation. Hopefully that helped. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, does this look really little to anybody else? I just, I feel like I expected it to be bigger. Um, but this is, oh my gosh, just like a cute little pot. Let's go ahead here and do a little swatch. And oh, ooh, very creamy consistency. And oh my God, that looks like A, <laughs> not my shade, and B, it looks very shimmery. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it definitely has a sheen to it. Um, oh, but it blends, ooh, ooh, wait a second, hold on. It blends really nicely, and it actually has more of like a, like a really light opacity to it. <gasps> oh my God, I'm having so many feelings. I'm having so many, so many conflicted opinions right now. So I guess let's go ahead here and just grab my sponge. I'm just gonna dunk it right in, and we're just gonna, we're gonna go from there, see how it looks. Um, so I'm just gonna start going in, shaping out the face. Part of my biggest concern with this, because I just read you guys the description, um, it, it definitely says in there that it has like an oil in it, and I was concerned when I was reading it that it would strip off my foundation, like it would, it would you know, cause problems in that area. And so, you know, using it, oh God, that does look kind of beautiful though, doesn't it? Like it does have this, this really beautiful subtle sheen, which I like, but it also has such, such a light amount of actual color to it that I feel like it just blends in really effortlessly. It gives such a natural um, shape to the face. Face. Okay, let's, th let's throw a little bit on that double chin. Let's see what we can do here. Let's sculpt it out, shall we? Okay, so I'm actually really like sh shockingly happy at the moment because with this color, um, not only did I not expect it to look like very natural on me because it's it's not the shade I normally would go in with, but I'm really impressed with how like it effortlessly really does blend in and the fact that, like I said a thousand times, it has that oil base to it. And I mean, you would never know it. Like it looks 
absolutely perfect. It looks like it blended in. It didn't mess with my foundation. And I mean, it's 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 so easy to, to use to sculpt. It's just done. It's it's beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, loving this so far. Really quick, just to go along with that because I think it would look gorgeous. I am gonna take a little bit here of the uh, Kier Wise. This is their cream blush in the shade Blossoming, and I really really love this cream blush. It's one of my favorites. Um, also from Beautylish. This is actually the shade that. Oh my god. Like look at that. It's so beautiful. Um, this is the shade that I started using um, from when I tested Samantha Ravindahl's favorites, which I will link up there. Now, really quickly, I'm just going to go in and touch up my concealer, get everything nice and blended out one more time, and uh, that way I can repat out the under eyes with a little fresh concealer. And then from there, I'm going to go in and set the under eyes and through the T-zone with my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair, just the loose setting powder. Also from It Cosmetics, just to lightly set the rest of the face, I'm taking their Celebration Foundation Illumination Pressed Powder, and this is in the shade light and I'm just lightly pressing it all over and then just to go in with a couple of other products obviously you all have seen me use these a lot but uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer I am kicking right through it I love this bronzer so much and then just for a little blush I'm going in with the Wayne Goss blush palette this one is in blush peony and you guys are gonna see more about um, these blush palettes I'm working on another video that there will be more information on these in all right so if you watch my videos normally you, you know that at this point I would go in with brows and eyes and all the good things but uh, you guys I, I, I can't physically Okay, I can't physically do it because I have not one but two brand new highlights and I need to play around with them so badly I've had them for multiple days now and I have not so much as stuck my fingers in these little pans And so so I'm, I'm kind of having like a whole moment and I just think it's time that we you know kind of handle that So let's go ahead and uh, and get going into these um, I'm gonna start off first by looking at the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the superstar glowy highlighter and oh Oh, it's a whole moment. It's a whole spiritual moment. Oh my gosh. Look at these. I could display them. I could just, I could love them forever. Oh my God. I I'm dead. I'm deceased. I'm obsessed. Then you open it up and this is the highlight that is inside. It's a very beautiful like in pan press, but it definitely looks like it's going to be a little bit too dark for me. Ooh. Um, so let's go ahead. We're just going to do a little swatch. Ooh, feels, oh, feels so nice. Um, oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's Oh, damn, is that really gonna be way too dark on me or just like mildly too dark? So here it is in swatch right here on my palm And I don't think on camera it pulls way too dark, but it's definitely You know just looking at it. It's definitely coming off a little bit too deep from my skin tone But it is super beautiful and may maybe I can work with it Maybe maybe I can make it work wishful thinking But let's go ahead really quick before we start playing around too much and uh, let's swatch the other one from Natasha Denona This is the I need a nude glow highlighter and this one. Oh my god the packaging is just oh my god oh my god it looks so pearly it looks so beautiful you guys can you like properly see the texture in that pan oh my heavens up above oh I can't stand it okay I'm gonna go ahead and just do oh so satisfying I'm gonna do a big pan swatch that way I cover all the different shades oh wow is that that too dark for me too what is happening please don't be too dark um okay yeah all right well this is fun um <laughs> that one right there so there's two highlights next to each other and the brighter one that you're seeing is from Natasha Denona so it definitely has more of a glow um and, and it's definitely like as far as the shade goes it's definitely a little bit too dark for me but it is lighter <laughs> than the one from Charlotte Tilbury so you know I guess we're, you know, we're kind of winning and losing at the same time my rule of them over here is that before I go in with any highlight I do like to set my face just to make sure everything is pressed in so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Urban Decay all-nighter ultra glow setting spray all right so in terms of application I'm gonna go in with these in the same order that I had originally swatched them so I'm gonna go in with this one first and I'm gonna be taking this on the Scott Barnes 66 brush here and I think we're just gonna start on this side yeah I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better and I'm just gonna very lightly oh now in terms of the shade I don't know if it'll show up in this lighting but when I turn my head you can see that it does cast a little bit like you can see it very lightly on my skin tone and I think for me I'm, I'm both shocked and impressed because for as dark as it looked when I swatched it I did expect it to be darker on my skin tone so that's you know this is a good thing um, but but at the same time because I can see it on there like because it shows up like that I would have to use this highlight with another 
another one. Like I wouldn't be able to just, you know, get away with using it on its own. Um, but, but I do think, you know, that being said, I think that it's beautiful. I love the texture. I love how it um, actually drapes over top of my skin. That's very pretty. But to go in on the other side, obviously we're going to grab the Denona highlight and I'm going to be taking the Wayne Goss 24S brush. Um, one of my favorites. I love it. It's like a short, stubby, dense little fan brush. I'm going to get myself good and set up. That way you guys can kind of see hopefully what I'm seeing over here. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so good. Um, let's go. Oh, wow. Okay. It's even more bright in this light. Okay. So obviously this one is absolutely beautiful. I have, I have no complaints there. Um, like the color of it is a little bit brighter, so it does work better on my skin tone, but like, I even think like the overall brightness factor of it is there as well. So I do think, you know, like I said, in terms of like my skin tone, I think the one from Natasha Denona works better, but I also really like the one from Charlotte Tilbury just because it has such a beautiful, like more of a demure kind of glowy situation going on. Like I, I just think it has such a beautiful presence on the skin. It's a, it's a lot more toned down, especially because I'm so pasty, but it still is super beautiful. The texture is very, very nice. So what I am going to do is grab a little bit of the Denona one here and just pop it over top of the Charlotte one just to kind of you know brighten it up a little bit kind of even out both sides and then take that same shade run it along the nose a little bit Cupid's bow and then of course that little chalupa chin honey yes please we need to have a glowy little ass chin woo get it going uh you know just gonna gotta have that glowy chin y'all know I love those chalupas and then just because I did play around with two different um highlighters here I'm gonna go back in with the blush brush there's no additional product on it but I just want to make sure everything is like veiled and, and nice and smooth over that area I want it to look like an effortless oh girl like an effortless little transition that is super pretty okay so am I the only person that's like sitting here and I just can't get over how beautiful those both look like I, I, I'm actually oddly obsessed I think for me I'm just like extra shocked because they didn't necessarily work for my tone but then I put them on and they just look so gorgeous um, which is definitely an added bonus so I guess from there what I would say is if you are right around my skin tone but even like even a little bit deeper um, I definitely think you'd have luck with both of these because they both work I mean yes the the tone is uh, a little bit off but uh, I have I have no complaints I think they look beautiful and I actually really like the way that they give both of them give their own like unique version of a demure highlight. It's just, mm, it's so good. Okay. I, mean, I promise I'm done. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Paige, move it along. Oh my God. I only have like seven products to talk about and it still takes me forever. All right. Now for brows, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm taking my Urban Decay Double Down Brow. This is in the shade Neutral Nana and I freaking love this. I've used it a lot. Like it's, it's been well loved. And uh, as of late, I've just been going for more of like a, like a lighter kind of brow look. And I definitely think this one will give me that light kind of partially sculpted look. All right, beautiful people. So I am back. Obviously, the brows are done. And at this point, we can go ahead and move into eyes. And for that, I picked up this uh, this new thing released by Ilia. And this is their new liquid powder chromatic eye tints. And I picked mine up in the shade Hatch, which says it is a sage green with a soft gold shift. So I thought it would be really pretty. It's still nice and subtle, but it has like a little bit of something fun to it. And uh, on the website, these retail for for $28 a piece. There are eight shades available. And then down in the description, it says that this is a clean, highly pigmented liquid eyeshadow that transforms into a weightless metallic powder. It glides on like a cream, dries like a powder, which is <laughs> kind of redundant. They say it twice. Uh, this liquid eyeshadow swipes on effortlessly and instantly locks in place without creasing. Sweet, woo, that, that's a big claim with these oily ass little eyelids. Sweep the cushiony wand along your eyelid for a bold metallic payoff or gently blend it out for a more diffused wash washed. Mmm, interesting. Um, it says, yep, you can use it with the wand of, um, that it comes with, or you can use it with your fingers if you want it to be a little more diffused. And I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, 28 bucks. Eight. Ooh, that's really pretty actually. Okay, so we're just, we're gonna skip past the fact that I just dropped my phone on my big toe and oh my God, did it hurt? Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna breeze right by that and talk about how pretty that is, wow. And I think because this does have more of a cream to powder feel, I'm gonna test it out without any like additional um, concealer on my lid. I just have a little bit down um, that I had previously swiped on. And I just wanna see like, how does it show up just by itself, like does it stick to the lid really well? Because sometimes um, liquid eyeshadows or you know creamy eyeshadows like this, sometimes they actually perform better on their own versus having a base. So I wanna just see, oh wow, that actually blends out really fast, super easily. 
blends out like a dream, no issues, it's not patchy. Oh my God, I can actually like instantly feel it turning from a cream to a powder. Like it just, as I was blending it out with my finger, as it dried, it literally feels like a powder on my finger. That is bizarre. Oh, I quite like that, okay. Let's just tap on a little bit more and just, I, wow, that's that's like it, like it's done. It, just, it blended out, I didn't use any brush at all and it gives you such a natural blend. And that's actually really impressive because normally when I use a liquid shadow, um, I have to use at least a fluffy brush to like diffuse it through the crease. And this one, because it has that cream to powder element to it, it just blended out on its own so evenly. Let's go ahead here, I do wanna see if I can just build up the color. I don't really need to because it was pretty much fully opaque when I applied it, but I just wanna see if you can like deepen it up and you actually can. I was able to get the lid just a little bit darker. God, that's, oh my gosh. Now the only thing that I'm noticing in terms of um, like a main difference, I feel like in swatch, it does have a little bit more intensity to it. Like the, the sheen from green to gold is more intense. But when you apply it on the eyes, I feel like it comes across as more of just like a mossy green um, with like a subtle golden undertone, but it doesn't have like this kind of shift to it. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna go in here with a little bit and just smudge that right along the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Natasha Denona highlighter here, pop that on the inner corner, and then also up on the brow bone a little bit here, just for a little added glow. Just for a little bit, looking good. Ooh, ooh, yes please, honey. We love a good brow bone moment. Yes, we do. Ooh, blue ska do, we can do, ooh, so cute. We are gonna play Blue's Clues because it's a really fun game, hey. And then just to set the face one more time, I'm gonna go in with some of the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. <gasps> Brought me ice cream. And I stacked it in a bag so it'd be cold. Oh my God, oh my God. Mm. Mm, mm. Did I mention that I said I had the best parents? You see this? All right, you guys, so while I was off of camera, I just finished up the eyes, and just to tell you what I used here, I went in with a mixture for mascaras. Um, the first one, this was the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara, and I went over top of that with the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. Then for the eyes, the upper and the water lower line, I went in with the um, Fenty Fly Pencils, and on the upper water line, I went in with the shade Cuz I'm Black. It's just a basic black liner. And then for the lower line, lash line just because I love, love the combination of purple and green. I went in with a little bit of the shade purple stuff, which is just a really beautiful, vibrant, shimmery purple. And on camera, even in real life, it doesn't really read like super intense, but it just has this beautiful, warm kind of purpley undertone to it that just pairs beautifully with green. Oh, and by the way, speaking of Fenty, I, I mentioned this at the start of the video, never revisited it, completely forgot. But uh, for any of you that like sales, you, you know, you're interested in new product sales that are happening at various sites, I I have been posting here in the community tab on YouTube. Um, I've been posting anytime I see like a really good sale, uh, you know, whether it's like a friends and family sale, a new product launching Ulta, Sephora, whatever. I've just been trying to put that out to you guys in case you were curious, you wanna shop it, restock, whatever. And the other day I posted this, uh, Fenty had their friends and family sale and it was actually 25% off the website plus an additional 10%, which is obviously 35%. Good job, Math Genius over here. Obviously this one right here is only specific to Fenty, but um, I wanted to mention it just in case you didn't know what was going on over there because if there's stuff that you were going to restock you were going to purchase anyways um obviously the sephora sale is coming up and people are going to get anywhere from 10 to 20 percent off but a lot of the sales that i have been posting have actually been 25 and 30 percent um or even in this case 35 percent so th they actually have been a better deal than what you're going to find at sephora come the sale and so i just wanted to mention it again if you're looking to save money restock whatever shop new purchases definitely make sure you keep an eye on the community tab and make sure you have your notifications on because that's where i've been and posting everything as I find them. But anyways, moving on and finishing up the rest of the face here, I do have a lipstick. This is from Natasha Denona, and this is her I Need a Nude Lipstick in the shade Andrea, and I believe this is, oh my God, I've never used one of her lipsticks. Oh, this is beautiful. Do you see this packaging? Oh my God. It feels like a mint container. Like it has such a beautiful look to it. The presentation, <gasps> everything about this. What have I been missing this whole time? I'm just, oh my God, I'm obsessed. You guys know I love like, packaging and lipsticks and just the whole bit. Um, but this is the lipstick. Oh, that is such a satisfying nude. Ooh, ooh what was that? <laughs> you guys know I love nude lipsticks. Oh my gosh. Um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do a swatch, I guess, right here because I don't have anywhere else left. Okay, so it is a very light nude. Like it's definitely lighter than what I would typically gravitate towards. It's making me wonder, you know what? I'm gonna try it by itself without a lip liner first. 
and just see. Ooh, mm, that feels good. That's very creamy. All right, so here is the color all by itself on an applied. Like I said, no liner, no nothing. And I have to say, for me, it is a little bit different because I'm used to seeing like a lip liner or just something a little bit darker. And so, so it's kind of throwing me off. I'm gonna say, you know, if I just look at this without any, you know, preconceived, this is what I'm used to, that type of stuff. I actually really, really like this color. And I, you know, I do think given today with this eye look, I think it's not quite, well, actually, I was gonna say, I don't think it's quite balanced, but even the eye look has like a, a lightness to it. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? What's your opinion on this? Do you like a light-lipped page? <laughs> a light-lipped page, listen to me, I'm so snazzly. Um, but I, I, I do you like this? How do, how do we feel? Because, you know, the more that I look at it, the more that I kind of like it, uh, you know, again, maybe I would add just a freckle lip liner. You know, maybe we should, maybe we should try it. Um, do I have a, a like a, a local lip liner that I could just grab? A local lip liner? Yeah, Paige, local as in to where you're freaking sitting right now, maybe. We're gonna go ahead and try this one. I've been wearing it a lot lately. This is the KKW 90s Glam Lip Liner. Um, excuse you, <laughs> absolutely not. I don't have time for your life right now, no, thank you. I'm just gonna take people trying to call me when I'm doing my lipstick. I got stuff to do. Go away. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here and I'm not gonna add a lot. I'm gonna add, see, like you can see just a slight little shadow. But all right, you guys, this is the finished look, obviously, how everything came together. Um, really quickly, before I get into any of the specifics, I do wanna throw up an up close. That way you guys can see how everything is looking, um, you know, on the skin, texture wise, and all of that. And I think for me overall, you know, I guess we could start off with the foundation. Um, I think that this does look really beautiful. Now, of course, I've only been wearing it for, you know, about hour and a half, two hours, however long I've been filming. I'm actually really impressed with the texture. I think that that's my favorite thing. Because because especially as of late, I've been having an issue with my skin like right over my cheeks with it being a little bit more textured. And what I'm noticing with this foundation is that right through here, even after I went through, I powdered it, even after I'm seeing a little breakage, it still looks unbelievably smooth, like right through the, the super duper textured areas of my skin. And so what I would say about this foundation, just in terms of a first impression, I would say the coverage is definitely on the lighter side. So be mindful of that. If that's what you're looking for, by all means, go for it. But uh, you are gonna get a lighter, you know, a light to light medium kind of coverage. It is lightly buildable, but not super buildable. So, you know, just again, if you're looking for coverage, this might not be for you. But uh, again, for me, the thing with this that I keep going back to is the way that it looks on the skin. It looks so beautiful, so healthy, and it really does like settle into your skin. And I know that I touched on this throughout the video, but I think what I enjoyed the most about this, like just as a cohesive video, a look, products, whatever, I really like that going in with these products, I feel like as as a whole, they have such a demure, and I, I know I've used that word 75 times today, but they have such a beautiful, demure, elegant kind of look on my skin, and that that's like kind of what I keep going back to, whether it's, again, the highlights, they just have this classy sheen to them. They're beautiful, they're bright, but they're classy, and then, you know, the foundation has like that beautiful high-end press to it. That eyeshadow has such a beautiful, effortless blend. Even down to the lips, it just has this really nice, sophisticated look to it, and I don't, like, just for me, overall, I'm super impressed. I really love the way that everything came out. But anyways, you guys, that is it. I hope that you liked the video. Let me know, of course, all of your thoughts down below. Um, do you like videos like this where they're a little more chill, a little bit more, you know, just talky, impromptu, still new, but not a full face, kind of, kind of, kind of right in between? I don't know. Um, but give, give me all of your thoughts down below. Do you like them? Do you not? Honestly, at this point, I would just love to hear from you in the comments anyways, because it's been a while since we've got to have a comment section, since we've had a video, since we've had this whole moment, okay? Um, so I need you to go down into the comments, and into the comments, <laughs> I sound like a Michigander right there. I caught it myself. Um, but go down in the comments. Leave me your thoughts, opinions, the look, the opinion, the, the products, whatever. Do you want to shop? Do you like the community? Do you like whatever? Do you just like whatever's going on here? Of course, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, and all of these products will be linked down below. If you want to shop anything, check it out, whatever. Um, everything will be linked for you. Anyways, you guys, with that, I bid you all adieu. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That's not scary. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> you imagine every time I come on camera. That is me every time I come on camera. <laughs> Pinched my ear. Oh, oh, oh my God. Did it again. Paige, what is wrong with you? You don't know your own strength. <laughs> Who's gonna eat her ice cream? Me, 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 me. Who's gonna eat her ice cream? Me, 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 me. Who's not gonna drip it on her sweater? Cause she'll cry. Me, 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 me. Ooh, that was cold on my teeth. Hmm. Hmm. Did you see that? I was like, ha, and then it hurt. Oh. Hmm.
It hurts <laughs> so bad. No, thank you. Mm, that hurt. I won't do that again. I will not do that again. Who are we kidding? I'll probably do that again.